Best of Tea series here on TWE channel. I'm Mel and today I'm going to be sharing ways of how to feel less lonely during this uh, winter season. It's pretty hard to not feel lonely during the cold season. You just feel like you're in a closed space and because it's Covid time and the pandemic, people are being restricted from who they can see, what they can do and where they can go. So how do I help myself from falling into a deep dark hole of loneliness? So here are a few tips of how I do that. So this year has taught us that we are limited to who we can see, what we can do and where we can go like I mentioned before. But that doesn't mean we can't keep in contact with our loved ones, our friends and general people worldwide. There is a thing called technology, which I am using right now. I know it's not the same like being in a room with your friends, with your family, but it's the closest thing we have to celebrating Christmas and celebrating festivities this year. We gotta appreciate that if we didn't have this technology, we wouldn't, we wouldn't be able to speak to our friends, our family. We wouldn't even have friends from all across the world without this technology. So what I advise you to do is set up a Zoom meeting or like a Skype call with your friends and family and even just play some games on there because there's so many games online that you can play. I personally like to play 20 questions, which is really fun. But you can also play Cards Against Humanity. You can get Disney themed. They're all online, I'll put some in the description below, but they're really fun and it just really makes it a special Christmas and even though you're not in the same room, it's still something and you've got to be appreciative for that. So hopefully we are at a lockdown sooner or later, hopefully before Christmas. So why not plan a mini adventure with your close friends and family, remember to stick into the guidelines of a uh, pandemic make sure you're safe as well but why not go and see some christmas lights go and make a mini movie go and have a mini photo shoot with the christmas lights and just enjoy everything this year just make the most of it so when i'm in my bedroom that's when i tend to feel lonely i just tend to switch off from the world I don't want to talk to anyone i either listen to sad music which doesn't help but it's just one of them things that I do or then I watch a movie or something and I just lie in bed feeling sorry for myself and feeling lonely. So what I do to restrict this and to reduce it is to remind myself what I should be grateful for. I should be grateful for having a roof over my head, having a bed to sleep in, having friends, having family that I can keep in contact with because many people in this world don't have that. Many people are sleeping on the streets. Many people are going to be alone this Christmas. And that just breaks my heart. So you've got to realise how lucky you actually are to be where you are today. I know it's a tough time. It is a tough time for everyone. But just remember, if you have a roof over your head, count yourself as lucky. Because all these people say, like in London, I see many people who are homeless, who don't have a blanket, who don't, who are just cold, and they're going to spend Christmas alone. And that's when I count myself as lucky. So what I've recently done is gone on to social media and joined some social groups, which I never thought I'd do because I'm not really that type of person to join social groups, but. Because it's the pandemic, there's not much you can do. So when you go onto Facebook, type in, I don't know, a random subject, one of your favorite uh, singers, for example, mine's Youngblood. So I typed in Youngblood and I've joined so many groups on there and I've met so many new people. And it keeps me up to date with what Youngblood's doing, but then I've made new friends from it as well. It's like a new family and like they go through the same thing as well. Many other people have depression, anxiety, and other stuff as well. And we get to talk about that, but then there's always this other side of Youngblood. We have a connection with Youngblood and it's beautiful. 
it is really worth it. So whenever you are in your bedroom feeling alone, join a social group, join any kind because it certainly has helped me. It's really made me feel like even though I'm still inside alone, I'm not really alone. There are people out there who are going through the same as me. So it's good to talk, make sure you talk. Now, this is one of my favorites, self-love and gratitude. The way I do this is my journaling. I, the start of the year, I was all about journaling, loved journaling, but then when this pandemic came in, I lost my motivation because everyone's moods just went down and you can kind of guess what it was like. So what I plan to do this December is get back into my journaling, get back into being creative and I use Pinterest as in, an inspiration to make journal pages. So like for autumn, you can go out and pick up colourful leaves and stick them into your journal. It's just so fun and so different, creative. You could have a podcast playing in the background just to keep you focused, play a movie. Just do something different, get creative. And there are so many types of journals you can make, discover and just have fun with because you should see my room at home. I've got a box. I think the box is like that and it's full of different journals. There are still some I haven't used yet, but they will. <laughs> but one of my favorite journals is my daily journal where I, I take that everywhere with me. Well, not everywhere, but say if I went to sit downstairs with my family or if I went to go for a walk, what I like to do is sit and just look around me, what's around me, and then think about what have I done today and how do I feel? I write it all down because it's like get something off your chest and it's very helpful. I really recommend it. As we are limited to what we can do, I recommend taking, making the most of what's around you in your area. Go and explore your local park, go and find something different because you never know what you're going to find and maybe play a playlist whilst you're walking, whilst you're on your bike, whilst you're running and enjoy the fresh air, enjoy wildlife and just enjoy being outside. Count yourself grateful for not being closed up in a box, not being able to hear the birds cheeping, see squirrels, see foxes, which is my favourite, but um, it's a beautiful feeling. When you're walking, don't look at your phone, just have the music playing, walk through it and take in nature because it is such a beautiful thing and it makes me feel calm as well. It's really nice because it's natural during the cold season for people to feel lonely. It's just a common fact when the weather is down and when the weather is colder, when the days are getting darker easily and earlier, our moods just swing like that and it can go down in the dumps. So make sure to check out our channel for the next 11 days to keep up on our festivity series, see what different types of videos we are coming out with, share your thoughts with us and let us know what you are doing this December. We'll see you soon. Bye. <laughs>